from small bubble chapter. There are not much bigger updates compared to old edition. This most of the points are same. Uh, one more point I want to discuss in this small bowel updates is related to celiac disease. There are some points related to celiac disease. Can you tell me the answer for this in evaluation of celiac disease related to biopsies? False statement is because celiac disease is confirmed by taking a biopsy. So anti IgA anti tissue anti tissue transglutaminase. So anti tissue transglutaminase is used for detection. That is true. Confirmatory test is anti endomycial antibodies. Biopsy test must be done when the patient is on gluten free diet. Duodenal biopsy is essential to confirm the diagnosis. Patient sh should undergo biopsy when the patient is on not gluten free diet. Patient should be on gluten diet. See, this is a condition very rarely seen condition in India, but it is the most common malabsorption in UK. They are saying it is having an incidence of 1 is to 1800. It is characterized by a classical finding of atrophy of the villi. So, this is a mucosa means in the mucosa, the villi on microscopic examination is atrophied and there is hypertrophy of the crypts. So, there is crypt hypertrophy, crypt hypertrophy and villus atrophy. So, when the villus gets atrophied, the active absorption surface area is lost. So, when the villus gets atrophied, the active surface, surface area for absorption is lost. So, there is malabsorption resulting in diarrhea. This is a common presentation in adults. So, in children, they commonly present to you with a steatorrhea. In children, there is more steatorrhea, but in adults, there is more of diarrhea and other malabsorption. So, please remember, it is characterized by hypertrophy of the small bubble mucosa with atrophic villi and hypertrophied deep crypts. Loss of surface area and brush border enzymes results in malabsorption. Celiac disease is caused by abnormal immune gluten response. It is a response to gluten. It is a cereal protein which is found in our diet. The exact mechanism remains unclear. It is a genetic component associated with HLA, B8 and more common in first degree relatives also have this. In children, celiac disease presents with steatorrhea and growth retardation. In adults, they cause diarrhea and weight loss.